one and all present over here. I am Dharman Shmuri, one of the student of TRIS Competitive and today we are starting with a new program known as the TRIS Junior Scientist. During this program, we are going to learn about the new innovations of the science through the help of a working model and here we have our first model. Its name is the Newton's Cradle. So, when I am lifting this ball and raising it, as you can see, only the last ball is moving. What's the reason behind it? Is it science or, or is it a magic? Obviously, it's a science. And what is the science behind it? Let's learn it. So, before knowing the concept of the Newton's cradle, we should know that what is Newton's cradle? Newton's cradle is a device that demonstrates the conservation of momentum and conservation of the energy with the help of swinging spheres. Its another name is the Newton's pendulum and it demonstrates the principle of the conservation of linear momentum. Now you would be thinking that how energy has been involved during this process. So when I am lifting it, this sphere is getting the potential energy at the highest point but when I am releasing it, it is getting the kinetic energy at the lowest point and it transfer to this the kinetic energy of the first ball is being transferred to the second ball the second ball transfers it to the third third ball transfers it to the fourth fourth transfer to the fifth and due to which the fifth ball is moving as there is no external force which is blocking this ball from moving so there is also involvement of the conservation of linear momentum now what is conservation of linear momentum so when any external force applied is absent then the linear momentum of the system or of the body remains conserved or the another definition of the conservation of linear momentum is if two objects collide then the total momentum before and after the collision will be the same if there is no external force acting on the colliding body so i would like to show you about this Here as you can see when I am lifting this ball and releasing it, it gains its linear momentum and it is transferred to the second ball. The second ball transfers the linear momentum to the third ball. The third ball transfers it to the fourth and the fourth ball transfers it to the fifth. Hence the fifth ball is moving because there is no external body which is acting on it to stop the ball from the moving. Now we will learn some of the new cases or some new uh, ideas for this momentum. So if I take these two balls together then what we will happen? Let's see. As you can see when I am taking these two balls together only the last two balls are moving and this middle ball has been stationary. What's the reason behind it? Simple it's the because of conservation of linear momentum. When I take the third ball, only three balls have been moved from the right side too and these two balls are being conserved or at stationary. As you, you can see that, like that, now I will take four balls from the each side. You can see only four, four balls are moving from one side. When I am taking for four balls from this side, only the last four balls from this side are moving. Only the reason behind it is the conservation of linear momentum. But when I take these two balls with together, now see what happens with the ball. As you can see, when I am releasing it, only this two ball, ball collide with this and comes again. What's the reason? Conservation of linear momentum. So there are some important points which we should keep in our mind. So for making the Newton's cradle, we should know that the, all the balls or the steel balls or the any ball should be at the same height and of the same weight and the strings from which they are tied should be uh, strong that to hold their weight. And the second point that it will never ever come to the rest as until and unless no external force is being applied on that body. As you can see, it's not coming to rest. What I mean to say that when I'm releasing this ball, this ball is moving and uh, when I'm keeping my hand, 
this ball is not moving so in our next episode we are going to explain you about an interesting topic known as the working of roller coaster so please stay tuned with us so here we go with the end of our first episode and you will also get us some new innovation or the new ideas with the help of a working model on every fortnight 7 pm and if you want to join us you can contact us thank you